David, what are you doing? Um, obviously I'm drawing a picture. All of the art in this fancy French museum has inspired me to create my own art. Can't you see? The sign clearly says, don't touch any of the paintings. I'm not touching the paintings. I put this piece of paper over the top of it. It's still touching it. And besides, your paper is not thick enough. Your marker is gonna bleed right through, right onto the painting. Oh, come on, Timmy. This painting is a masterpiece. It's priceless. Do you really think I would have been that careless? Trust me, the marker did not bleed. <gasps> he made me do it! Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Journey Today Show. My name is Timmy Bowties. And I'm David. Well, David, you really did it this time. You drew on the Mona Lisa and got us kicked out of the fancy French museum forever. That's not even the half of it. They told me that I would have to pay to have it restored. Do you know how much it costs to fix a painting like that? Because I don't, but I imagine it's at least a hundred dollars. Um, yeah, at least. I just, I don't get it though. The sign clearly said, don't do it, but you did it anyways. And now you've ruined the most perfect painting ever. Uh, did I really ruin it though? Did you see how she was squinting her eyes? I think she needed those glasses. And a lot of successful people have mustaches. I think my additions were an improvement. David, do you really believe that? No, I guess you're right. I really made a mess of things. Yeah, you really did. But you know what? This isn't the first time someone's perfect creation has been ruined. Oh, are you talking about the time I knocked over Stonehenge? Who can blame me though? They set those rocks up like dominoes. They're just begging to be pushed over. No, David, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is, wait, did you really knock Stonehenge over? Yeah, but I set it back up. Uh, that's really concerning. But no, what I'm talking about is God's creation. You see, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and it was a real masterpiece. In fact, it was perfect. There was no death, no disease, no sickness, and no sadness. And best of all, God had a perfect friendship with the people he had created. Wow, that sounds better than the Mona Lisa. Oh, believe me, it was. That is, until Adam and Eve did what they weren't supposed to. Wait, did they touch a painting too? Not a painting, a piece of fruit. You see, God had told them that they could eat any fruit they wanted but not the fruit from one special tree. It was called the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Hey, you know what? I think we should read what happens next for ourselves. So let's do this. In just a second, press pause, then open your Bible and read the verses on the screen. When you're finished, press play, and we'll see you back here. Everybody, welcome back. In our story for today, God had a perfect relationship with people. He walked with them and he talked with them in the garden. There was nothing that came between God and people. That's right. But then Adam and Eve sinned. Sin is disobedience towards God. Okay, but here's what I'm wondering. Why do you think sin ruined people's relationship with God? That's a great question. And to help us answer that, I have a very attractive challenge. No way, I am not putting on makeup. No, no, there's no makeup involved. Besides, I don't think you would look very attractive with makeup. Thank you. You're welcome. The kind of attraction I'm talking about involves a magnet. Here's how it works. I have a bunch of different objects with me. Some of the objects are magnetic and some aren't. 
For each object, we'll guess if we think it'll stick to the magnet or not. Then we'll give it a try to see if we're right. And here's what's really fun. You kids at home and church can play along too. Awesome. I, I have an idea though. To make it more interesting, how about the person who gets the most wrong has to spin the wheel of misfortune? And then they have to do whatever it says. Are you sure about that? <laughs> you think you can beat me? Oh yeah, bring it on. All right, you're on. Let's do it. Here's the first object. All right, let's start with a banana. What do you think? Not magnetic. I feel pretty comfortable. Yeah, um, I think I'm gonna go with you and say that that will not stick to the magnet. Yeah. But let's find out. Good answer. No! Oh, we oh were correct! <laughs> Bananas, not magnetic. That All right. settles it. Let's try the next item. It is a penny. Mm, what little do you think? tougher. Little this is tougher. Tough. I do not think that is magnetic. You don't? I don't. But it's made of metal. You would think. You would think. I'm gonna say that it is magnetic. Oh, you, I think it's gonna stick you to the You do penny. think, okay. Yeah. yeah, so let's see here. What? Still there. No! Yep. Read You've it gotta be weep. kidding me. Read it and weep. A penny is not magnetic. All um, right. All now right. you know. You're you're off now, okay. A pair of scissors, magnetic mm. or not magnetic. Why don't you start us off? I'm gonna say magnetic. Yeah. I am too. I think so. I think But not because you said so. Half of it is magnetic. I think. Agreed. Okay. Yeah, if I start here, mm, not getting not, much. Not but so much. boom! Yes! Magnetic. <laughs> All right, very magnetic. Penny. Yeah. Okay, let's try the next thing. more? Thing. Let's go with... Oh, boy, Aluminum oh boy. foil. Boy, oh boy. Um, I'm gonna say definitely magnetic. Hmm. This is the toughest one it, yet. What do you mean it's tough? Well, it's tough. I mean, you seem rather confident, okay, but yeah. that makes one of us. Okay. I'm gonna go the opposite. What? Just to spice things up. Not okay. magnetic. Clear. Mmm, see, see, Hi. Stop it! <laughs> what? What is wrong with you? This thing is it's like broken or something. Yeah, that's it. It's not magnetic. What about... Buddy Bot! <laughs> Buddy Bot! Magnetic or no? Mmm. I, this is kind of a tough one because he's made of plastic, but I yeah. think inside I, there might be like some metal that would, I'm, I'm gonna say no. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. It's surrounded in plastic. All right. Come here, buddy. No. no. no he no. is not we doing it. it. Yeah, we got it right. Dude, that was awesome. All Buddy right. is not magnetic. Yep. But sure we enough. still have one last object. Another magnet. So what do you think? Does it stick or not stick? I think it sticks. You think it sticks? Mm -hmm. I, I think that it sticks too. Yeah. I think that it's, uh, yeah. Okay, I think that it sticks. My yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's give it a try. Ooh, I feel. Oh, that was so weird. Was I like. So I felt resistance. resistance, and then when you got to the side, yeah, clicked. It is magnetic. Four. But oh the victory. my goodness, you totally won that. Like I got way more wrong than yeah. you do. Yeah. Which means I have to spin. The Wheel of Misfortune! All right, here we go. What's it gonna be? <gasps> Mystery prize! Oh my goodness, it's like the one thing that's not bad. Okay. Oh, gimme, 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 gimme! Here you go. All right. Wait. Wait, you know what? Maybe you should open your prize at the end of the episode. Because I want to show you something. Take a look at this. This magnet 
is like God. God is holy. That means that God has no evil in him and that he must be separated from anything that is evil. That's right. When God first created people, they were perfect. There was no sin or evil in people, so God could be close to them. But then something happened. Instead of obeying God and staying close to him, Adam and Eve chose to listen to Satan. They ate the fruit from the one tree that God said they shouldn't eat from. And when that happened, sin and evil entered into the hearts of people. It got between them and God. So what do you think will happen when we try to put God and people together with sin in between them? Let's find out. Look at that. When sin came between God and people, the people fell away from God. Wouldn't this be the worst story ever if that was the end of it? It would. Fortunately for us, though, that's not the ending. You see, God's love for us is too great for him to just give up on us. In fact, God loves us so much that as soon as Adam and Eve sinned, he began to put in place a plan that would one day remove the sin and evil from people's hearts. You're right. In fact, today's Bible verse tells us all about that plan. It says, but here is how God has shown his love for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. That's it. God's plan was to send his son, Jesus. Jesus paid for our sins with his own life. Hey, that makes me think of a question. If we're the ones who sinned, why do you think it was Jesus who had to die instead of us? Press pause. And discuss. Consequence or punishment for sin is death and forever separation from God. But God didn't want us to be separated from him. So he showed his incredible love for us by sending his son Jesus to die in our place. But did Jesus stay dead? No way. Three days later, he rose and came back to life. And because of that, if you're a follower of Jesus, there is no sin that can come between you and God. That's right. You can once again be close to God and have a relationship with him. Isn't that amazing? God's love is greater than our sin. And that is the best news ever. Oh, hey, uh, speaking of good news, do you think I could open my mystery prize now? Well, I think we've pretty much said all we need to, so sure, go for it. A million dollar bill? A million dollar bill? I'm a millionaire! Wow, <laughs> congratulations. That's a lot of money. Oh, it sure is. Uh, let's say bye so I can go spend it. All right. Uh, hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again next week. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Special delivery for David. Oh, hey. It's a letter from France. Oh boy. Dear sir, restoration of the Mona Lisa has been complete. Oh good, they fixed it. As discussed, you must send your payment immediately. The total amount comes to one million dollars. <gasps> one million dollars? <laughs>